my name is Matt, welcome back to the shop and today we're talking about wheel spaces so someone, and I think it was Richard <laughs> said, why the fucking hell do we need wheel spaces in the first place? so you have a relief like so oh, 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 like this and in here you have a wheel bearing actually this is all wrong so you have a wheel no fucking hell, fire. Go straight out the box with my soggy little shrimp. I was an eight year old girl before the doctor found my chick. We make too much money for this shit. Murder music. So we have bearings which are made up of an inner race, an outer race, and a ball that sits in the middle. This is the other side of it. Like so. And then we have the same thing this side. You notice how they got progressively worse <laughs> and then you have you know this is obviously a cross section and then what you have is you'll have this wheel spacer which is a solid tube a solid tube with a hole down the middle of it. and he says why do you fucking even need these because these stop you getting on the inside of the bearing with a driver to get it out it just seems like a fucking pain in the ass the reason why is because the outside surface here is actually the wheel. So this section here is the wheel and it sits, the outer race is now for all intents and purposes part of the wheel, uh, wrong side, part of the wheel itself and you have an inner race, an inner race and this spacer. And what you do is you have your four legs like this just say or your swing arm and then you have an axle that goes all the way through it with a fucking clamp on one end which is your hex head you know that's your or your torque wrench or whatever and on this side you have your threads and you have a nut so what happens is when you tighten this nut the whole thing clamps in and generally we have wheel spaces here or something shit like that all right and then there's your swing arm jobby yeah bad picture any road when you start clamping this down you can literally squash all of this together your swing arm or your forks start to come in and then the spacer pushes on the bearing the bearing pushes in the spacer bearing pushes in and if there was no spacer the bearing would just keep on going in the more you tighten down it just pushing pushing until the fucking bearing you'd hear a crack or a snap or a bang or something until something fucking breaks you need something that gives the correct spacing distance between the two and that spacing distance is pretty much the same spacing distance as the outer race so basically your bearings stay in alignment and with all things equal when you fucking tighten this down you say well what happens it stops it shifting this way this way well pressure has been applied at this side and this side but when that pressure when that force hits each other it splits equally down the middle so your spacer won't be offset so that's why you have this floating spacer in your wheels it's not there for no fucking reason it's not there to be awkward and the reason why it's so hard for you to get in on the inside of this bearing collar, shoulder here when you put your tool inside to knock out that bearing the reason why this is always in the fucking way and there's a slight little gap is because it's meant to sit on this face of this race as much as possible that's why it's, it's there to fit that and basically it's only the fact that it's got it's, this is easy this can walk around and wobble that you can actually even get in there at all. Hope that makes sense and I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 